bunny lovers, welcome back. So, ever since I featured my bunny first aid kit in our very first video, I've been constantly asked to make a video on it. So, without further ado, here we go. To begin with, let's not forget that any first aid kit is in no way, shape, or form a replacement for an actual professional vet. However, many of these items can help hold you over until you can get to the vet. And if you're just dealing with something minor, you're going to be glad you put together one of these kits. So, first I keep a pair of nail clippers in here. I use these on a regular basis to keep Lennon's nails trimmed. Second, I keep this little bag in here with some injury items such as cotton pads, gauze pads, and adherent wrap. This stuff is great because if you need it to wrap some gauze around your rabbit, this will keep it in place. Cotton swabs, you can use these to clean your rabbit's scent glands or to just take care of smaller areas in general. Keeping a thermometer is also key. If you suspect your rabbit is sick, it's vital to be able to take their temperature. Couple this with some Vaseline to lubricate the thermometer before insertion. Yes, you do have to place this in your rabbit's bum, but that's the only way to get an accurate temperature. Vaseline will ensure a smooth, painless procedure. I also have some baby gas drops, aka semethicone in here. This stuff can help delay the effects of GI stasis, which can be lethal. And it's also good for gas or other belly issues. I have some syringes in here in case I need to use them to give Lennon any medication or feed her critical care or pineapple juice for belly problems. Most often the pharmacy can supply these to you for free. I make sure to keep any previous medications such as pain medication. This right here is an anti-inflammatory from the last time we went to the vet. These medicines are very expensive you guys so hold on to them because you never know when you'll need them again. Last but not least, I have critical care. This isn't kept in the jar itself, but inside the fridge as it prolongs the shelf life. This is a recovery food that you mix with some water and syringe feed to your bunny if they're unwilling to eat their normal diet due to illness or surgery. Well guys, that's it for now. Thanks for tuning in and let me know in the comments below what you keep in your first aid kit. See you later.